James Joyce, hello, how are you doing? Oh, hello, you're all right. Yeah, I'm not too bad. Um, how are you? How are you doing at the minute? Um, obviously, uh, restrictions, they're starting to uh, they're starting to ease and things are starting to open back up again. Uh, mm-hmm. How are you feeling about the, the pandemic and, and doing interviews over Zoom and things like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really like doing them in the first place because um, I just need, I, don't, I have this weird thing, I don't really like talking about myself. I just want to do the job, come home and watch Tip and Point, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Uh, that's for me. Um, but the the lockdown easing and all that, yeah, it's it's good. But just, you just I'm just still a bit anxious. But you get yeah. used to. It. Oh yeah, well, a hundred percent. I think that's uh, that's very similar for all of us. But um, today, James, of course, we're not talking about lockdown. We're talking about the new uh, BBC One show, Time, uh, yep. which you co-star with uh, Sean Bean and Stephen Graham. So, um, for those watching who, who who have no idea what Time is all about, um, what is Time all about? Because it's it's a little bit of an ambiguous title. You don't really know what that yeah. means. So, what, what's Time all about? So, Time is. It's written by Jim McGovern, uh, directed by Lewis Arnold, and it is about a man in his his mid-life 50s, and he's a normal bloke. Mm-hmm. Uh, he accidentally knocks someone over the drink driving, and then finds himself in this environment in prison where he just doesn't belong, and how he copes, and how he, he finds his life through prison, and then you've got storylines popping up all over the place that make his life hell but also open his eyes to things and meets people that he probably would never have met before in his life and it just mm-hmm. amazing where do you mean McGovern? Yeah, well, I mean, something written by Jimmy McGovern, I'm guessing for you as an actor, must be uh, such a blessing because he's so well known for creating things such as The Street and and various other TV dramas that have been a massive success. So when you sign on to be part of that, I'm guessing you're like, oh, wow, you know, uh, this is amazing. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I grew up on Jimmy McGovern. Like, he's one of the things when I was, like, a teenager, you'd watch The Street. Um, and, and things like that and yeah he, he creates a real world that we're from mm-hmm. and so I, to be offered that opportunity I was just like wow this is nuts and then the cast of Sean and Stephen and Jack McMullen and Paddy Rowan and Bobby and all that it's like it's incredible I, I'm so lucky like why am I here and um, yeah like I when I left drama school Jimmy McGovern's on an article saying it's getting harder to find working class actors mm-hmm. And so I emailed his agent, and this was years ago, this was like five, six years ago. And I emailed his agent and I said, hey, I'm here, I'm working class. My name's not Barnaby or Tarquin, like, I'm here, <laughs> uh, give us a go. And anyway, so when, when me and Lewis were talking, I said, oh, Lewis, I'm so lucky. I said, like, oh, this is like playing at Anfield. And he goes, hey, he goes, and I said, I sent him an email, blah, blah. And I showed Lewis the email. I said, look, five, six years ago, father and me and Mock thing. And um, he showed Jimmy, and I was so embarrassed. Oh, was wow. Like, I'd imagine for you, you were just cringing inside, like, oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, no, but he is one of those writers that any actor with the salt wants to say his words and tell his story. So, yeah, it's cool. It's amazing. Yeah. 100%. I know when when watching the uh was that something that kind of uh, Jimmy wanted to incorporate in time then uh, you know cast loads of working class actors and 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 not like you say not the Tarquins or the the Windsors of the world in the acting world and kind of just stick I'm with bad, kind of a, I, sound, I sound bad saying that don't I No, no you don't no honestly you don't because I agree that's the thing I agree and uh, like because it's almost it, it adds a sense of realism I think you don't want to see like a you know you don't want to see a, a tough uh sort of playing these type of characters so was that something that jimmy wanted to incorporate in 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 the the show uh, i think the thing is with jimmy is he's so authentic his writing is so real uh he has this ability to constantly have his finger on the button mm-hmm. um, everyone's problems in a working class background or from our community certainly he has the finger on the pulse like if you look at the street or you look at broken or you look at time and it's constantly got this cloud over it of people's financial dilemmas, people's social dilemmas with structures of family scenarios. And a lot of that does come through with like job opportunities and education and um, certainly money 
and, mm. and so I think Jimmy wants someone who, all right, you don't have to come for me, but please understand it. And um, that's the beauty of Jimmy. Jimmy is not only writing these things, but he's giving us a chance. Like, yeah. I, I look across to me left and me right, and I've got Jack McMullen, Bobby Schofield, Paddy Rowan, these young scouts actors. And uh, you just, you know, you're watching them and you're going, not only are they saying the word, but they know exactly what it means to say them word. Not mm-hmm. saying being in prison, not saying, but we all know someone who's been in that scenario. Do you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, um, you know, you mentioned the amazing cast that you get to work with. And um, you mentioned some of them there. But of course, um, this, this drama is led by uh, the wonderful Stephen Graham, who you've worked with before, I understand. Yeah. Um, yeah. What was it like working with Stephen again? That's a dream, isn't it? Uh, Stevie's boss. It's a. It's only how can I imagine if you used to go out on Anfield and and play with Virgil Van Dijk. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. One of them. He's a. He's just and he's so generous. That's the beauty of Stephen. A lot of people see the talent, but they don't really know the person. Mm. And the person is even bigger than the talent. Like, he is so generous on set. He will be, say, so sometimes you're in a scene and you're not. You're just in the background or whatnot and. That's fine. That's how it's written. Stevie will throw a line or throw a look or throw something to you so you're involved and engaged in the scene. And most actors don't do that. Mm. Stevie does that. And then Stevie then, when you step off set, isn't going to his trailer and eating on his own. Or he's, he's mixing in with the lads. He's talking to you. He's asking how you're getting on, how your family are getting on. Because I've known Stephen for a while. He doesn't just ask about me now. He asks about my sisters. Yeah. Uh, he asks how my life is and and vice versa, I care about him. And he is just the most down to earth. He is a, a, just, and I'm not saying that to like suck up or not. And I, I, I tell it how it is, you know what I mean? He, he, he's just a nice boss fella. Yeah. And then I think you know, well, that's the thing, it comes across as well. And, and I think that it's something that's actually come up, uh, come up quite a few times, actually, when conducting a couple of interviews I've done this week for various projects is yeah. it's all about kind of sending the elevator back down, isn't it? When, you know, you you do reach that level of fame and then you share that level of fame and that, or not just fame, but kind of the, the skill, the, the passion uh, with, with other people who, who look up to you and things like that. So I think that's very important. I think whenever I've seen Stephen Graham just in anything, you know, behind the scenes stuff, he, he just seems like a generally nice bloke. Wait. When we've done Little Boy Blue, we've done a read-through. Hmm. And um, two of the lads, Jack Corey and Paddy Rowan, had never acted before. They were street casters. They were found on the streets. They'd never done it before. And Stephen took his time out after the read-through to be like, boys, come on, let's do a workshop together. Let's get playing. Let's like find these characters. Let's do it. And hmm. I'm thinking... You're Stephen Green. You you don't have to do that. You don't do it for show. No one knows this story, but he does it because he wants and he cares. And not only did he do that after the show, he's stayed in touch with all of us. And if a project come up that he, he thinks we're right for, he'll get us involved, even just to see how we're doing. And that is the beauty of it. Like Sean Bean's the same. And I've worked with loads of I've been saying loads. I've worked with actors, and I've been very fortunate that. I've only met one or two who are like that. Yeah, yeah. And that's the be- Maybe it's because I'm doing a lot of working class projects. Maybe it is that working class mentality of, certainly there's a scout mentality of, oh, we look after each other. But there's that working class mentality because it is quite an elitist industry. Mm-hmm. And as I said, your Barnabies and your Tarquins and your Henriettas, there is that world and you do have that imposter syndrome of not quite belonging. Um, and so we all look out for one another and, yeah, when people you've got people like Stevie wearing the captain's armband and Sean Bean, and you're stepping onto set for your first day, and they're going, "Come here, lad, house things like." Yeah, <laughs> it's boss. That's so nice. That's so nice to hear about. And 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 James, kind of in, in this particular drama, time, um, you you play a bit of a baddie, don't you? Well, I'm not Mister Darcy. Let's put it that way. <laughs> no, okay. Oh, yeah. so, uh, let's put it. Let's put it this way. Uh, I've been working with Sean for a couple of weeks and I walked on set and he goes and he just went, oh, no, not you again, Jay. <laughs> I'm like, so sorry. And he went, no, come here. Can we just have a hug? And I was like, yeah, like, that's 
that's the way it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and just finally, James, um, when can we expect to watch time? When is it? When is it out? When can we all watch it? Uh, Sunday the 6th of June BBC Sunday one. the 6th of June uh, James well I wish you all the best with it oh, um, thank you, you so much for having a chat with me and uh, yeah Brill thank you very much Bye, mate. cheers mate